thousand people were homeless on a given night uh, last year, the highest number ever recorded, and six thousand of them were youth, which means that children are showing up, were showing up in our schools without having a place to go home to. Meanwhile, the federal government has not really made a, a large scale investment in affordable housing since the New Deal. The construction of new public housing has been banned since the 1990s, forcing more than 1.6 million families onto endless um, waiting lists to public housing and another 2.8 million families into waiting lists for vouchers. The COVID-19, as many people have talked about, has really exposed the glaring racial disparities that have lost long existed in our state and across this country. And I think we have an opportunity to really create policies that will help remake and reshape uh, our systems in a more equitable way. Uh, if anything positive will ever come out of this crisis, I hope it is the policies that um, me and my colleagues have been advocating for, things like Medicare for all, housing for all, universal cash assistance, and debt cancellation. Uh, we now have an opportunity to push forth um, a, a really cohesive agenda on what it means to be economically secure in our country and what it means to once for all get rid of the kind of economic and racial disparities that we've seen across this country. Uh, I know that so many people are uh, really feeling the pain, the economic pain of uh, this pandemic. Uh, and this public health uh, crisis, once we have a solution to, to this virus, it's not going to end because um, we, we've already, we are already seeing the signs of um, the mental health impact that it's having on, on people. Uh, and so it's going to be really important for us to aggressively continue to advocate for people to have access to everything that they need to continue to lead a dignified life. So thank you all for having me and, and for giving us the opportunity to work um, in lockstep with you and trying to get relief for everyone in our community.